Thank you. Uh, we're going to, as I said the last time, do the second, the last part here. We can say the last is just um, an additional part, but that was supposed to be the last session. But I just want us to understand how to create um, a registration form. Assuming there's a program coming up and you want to create a registration form, and you want to see what record do we have and how do we even go about this record. That's why we're having this session. So majorly, this might not be for everyone. This might just be for some specific admin rights. So also note that um, I'll just go through that. When you go to users again, users, before we go back, so you can see I have some users already here. And then I have, when you do edit a user, And the editor user, you can see I now have more permission here. I have editor super admin. So I was able to create these ones, permissions here. And I give them their permission as regards what they're supposed to use. So that's for that. So when we, uh, here, come to programs, you see registration. This is where you can register for events and all that. So this form, so you can see the form from here down to this point. When you click and you submit, it's going to, um, it's going to add to. So this is called web form. So that's what we have here. When we go back to admin, enter content from structure, you can see web form. So when you go to structure, you go to web form to show you take you to the web forms that we have. So assuming you want to do another one, you can actually create more on it. You can see um, this one is the one I created, which is this register here. You can see if I feel it on it, I guess I need it. So if I feel a record here and I select and this is supposed to be gender, right? Yeah. I think there's something where I did so you can even see it. So I just click submit. So I tell you new record added to registration. This we'll just we'll talk more about this. But let's go back to the web form. You can see here telling you result is zero. Now by the time I refresh, you cannot see that uh, result is going to be one. So once they continue to register, it will show up here. So now the part where we have marital status instead of gender, come to build. So if you come to build, you will see this is going to show here. This is all what we created. So I'm going to change it now. Marital status instead of, um, let me edit it here. So I come to edit. I'll leave the marital status as well. Taking a little more time, so I just come to this part and call it um, my just status. So you can give me reference of it here if it is. So let's assume you want to add another form to it, another feed here. You can just come here and click Add Content. So that's the one I want to add next here. Um, I'm going to add and then I'll select what do I need. Is it text area? Is it a text feed? But if you want to place it, they just need to type anything. It's text feed. Something like this. These are all text feed. These are text feed. Why this one is number? Is number. That's why you can see this here. This is email. This is text feed. Text feed. This is the select. Select. I think those are majorly what you use on this. 
So I'll just come here and say, okay, I'm using a text. I'm using a select on this gender. So I'll go to select. I can type it here, select. So you can see select. I just click select. That's the one I need. And I'll come to and see gender. Gender. So gender. So I have. I can type it here. So I can say male and then female. That's all I need to do here. Is click. If I need more, I just click add more. Let's assume I need one more. So I click more. You want to write transgender something else here. So once you do that, it needs to come up. I don't need those ones, so I just remove it. Just remove them. Then I'll click add save. So once I do that here, it's going to appear here. You can see gender. So I can move it up. I need it to be up here. I move it up to this point and then I click save. So once you click save, it's going to tell you, okay, you see, where from registration has been saved successfully. So I'll come back here and we'll reload. You can see that we now have gender. You can see it's male, female. See, it's on it. Now, one thing I need to do is here gender, I need it to be required. So, should it be required? Must you fill it? Yes. So, I say yes. So, I click save. So, all this one you can see they are not required. That's why that sign is not showing here. This is not showing. This is not showing. You can see it for Facebook. They are not showing. So, you can actually do without it. That's what it means. So, um, that's a web form. Let's assume you want to create a new one. Assuming there's an instant registration, you have a program, you just want to get data for that program. So, um, before I even proceed, we'll do that new one. I think we should just look at for this web form. Let's go back. If while you're here, you can come to results. Results will give you all the records entered. You can see the record I just entered now. All my email down to this point. You can see it here. Uh, you can see it here. These are the so if you have 500 records, it's going to show here, and you can download it. When you click here, when you click this, you click on um, what do you want it to be generated in Excel compatible file. So if you want it to be in Excel, just click this, and then you come back here and click download. You can see it's coming in. Yes. So that's majorly it. Um, so let's create a new one. So all I need to do is to come structure. I go to web form. And then I have my session. I just click add new web form. Let's say the form is uh, the program is uh, uh, national. National, you know, something like this. This is the program that I want it to be. I can click it and then click is there any category no you can type anything here as though well. save. So when you click save, it's going to create a new one that's so going to appear here. It's going to show up here. So when you go back to web forms, just want to show you that it's actually there. Web forms. You cannot see it here. You can see it's National Youth Conference. It's here, it's open. Then all you do is you go to build. So you to build, add more forms to it, add more uh, feeds to it rather. So this is where you do it. Let's say I need, I'll click add element. When I click add element, I want to add the first name. So I can click, it's a text feed. So I come here and click add and new. So I, I just come and say first name. First name. So 
So when I say first name, I just click save. If you want to be adding more, you can just click save and add a new content. So you continue to add it. So save and add content. You can see to add and it will open this the feed for you here. Yeah. So I want to add some name. To add some name. So let's just say these are the two feeds we have. So you cannot do others later on, but we have this save it. So once you save it, you tell it as a save. The last thing that I do normally here is that I can just go to view. So let's click view in another tab and go to view. It will take me to that form. So you can see its name and funny and then submit. If I just do that now and then I click submit, watch. You can see it's taking me to a confirmation page here. So a new record has been added to this. By the time I go back to this form and refresh, let's say we'll go back to web form. And refresh, you can see I have record of one. So you can see it. So normally, okay, let's go to build. Then we come to settings. I think I just want to do a little thing there. Um, I can come here and say this part. Yes, so I can just say slash NYC National Youth Conference. So that's what I want it to be. I don't want the link to be this that's so long. You see, this is so long. But I just want something that will be slash NYC. So what's the confirmation page? If I have a place that I should go, I can just say I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. I save it. Then we'll do I save it. And the last mention to this will be to go to confirmation. So when we go to confirmation, I just need it to be, I think I use this most times, moda. I will load as load as a mother, then I enter the message. Success, success. Thank you for registering. Thank you for registering. Oh, wait. That's it. So this is what will come out when the person sees that record. I can use the other one. I use is this. So, yeah. So I'll go back to this. Let's just go back to the form. Let's read the form now. So, okay, before we read the form, let's just do the email part. So we we'll know we are done with this. So the email part, I assume someone needs to, need to send me to someone. Once you register, you need to send a mail to the person. Or when, the, when you register, you want to get a mail that this person has registered. So you can add, add email. Here, click here, and then you enter what the title email, can see registration email. Registration, register email, just put it. Who should they go to? Should they go to who? You're going to specify it here. Should they copy anyone? What's the um, sent from who is sending it? You can put something here. And this is what you're going to get. This is the message you're going to get. This part is getting all the records that have been sent to it. So you just click and you click save. Once you click save, you need to add it here. So any any registration that has been done, you can see it here. Any registration that has been done, you're going to get a mail. So save. Let me just edit one of them. Let's say sent to. Let me use custom, custom email, and enter my email address. So that's any registration that comes to this, you should send it to me. Who is it sending it from? Let's say it's sending it from, um, let me see, what is this? 
turning it from this and then what's the custom name i can say fmcc that's, then this is the message i click save so once i click save any registration that comes into this i'll get it in my mail so i save and let's try it and see i might not show you my mail but you can you will know that uh, back to phone so now let so you can see let me leave this once once we're done here let's zoom here and see what happens here you can see now it's slash nyc that thing will change the url will change slash nyc so the link is short so here you just come enter your name and enter your surname let's say Magnus assuming that is it click save Instead of us, it's taking us to that wrong place. It's going to take us to the confirmation. Okay. Oh, you can see it here. Success. Thank you for this thing. Uh, but we don't need it there. Okay, maybe because we should change the page. We can do that. Or we can go back to it. Go to build. You can from the form. You can also do this from the form. You can go to build, and you come to settings. Let's change that part. Submissions confirmation. And let's say we lose the current page and replace the web form with a confirmation message. Okay, it's fine. Thank you for registering. We will. Get back to you shortly. Uh, okay. So, so I think we're fine here. Let's click this and see what happens next. So, do slash NYC. NYC enter take us to the form so in, in this form we can just do simply this may be us so click save so this will take us to you can see the confirmation message address here has been to be saved to come here thank you for registering we'll get back to you shortly and see it's inside this form so once you load the form as an admin you can do everything here let's say you want to get all the results on this form once you load the form just go to results go to results to show you this you can see the three results i've done you can see them here and then like we said you go to download and from download you click here to complete it as excel and then you click download once you're done with that, we're good with work form. So we'll just go back to structure and work form and see how, what we've done so far. So you can see it's one and two. So we have three records in um, National Youth Conference and one record here. I think that's fine for this. Thank you very, very much. This will end up the records, the tutorial. Next time we can have all the things. Try to subscribe if possible. Thank you very much. Bye.